I have noted for myself that 99% of the people that apply for postdocs do it, I believe, incorrectly. And so I am on a campaign to get as many people to apply appropriately for postdocs. I actually wrote this up, I think it's the November 2013 newsletter for the Society of Developmental Biology, so you could look at it there. But the basic thing is, people apply for postdocs. They'll hear about somebody's work and they'll apply. And they say, here is my CV, and I'd really like to work in your lab, and do you have any space? And that's a letter that could be sent out to 100 people or 1,000 people. There's nothing in it. It just says, I want to do this. And what you want to be is in the 1% that doesn't do that. And so that 1%, that, so I would suggest that what people do is, and you can't apply to 100 people. You, I, I think you can apply to two. But what you should do is you say, here's my CV, yes, here's all this stuff. But I've been reading your work. So you take a month off and you really read the person's work. And here are the experiments I would like to do. Here's my ideas. Here's my outline of what I want. First of all, it starts you, you're almost finished with a postdoc fellowship application. You are, uh, you know, I don't know anyone whose ego is not stroked by the fact that somebody writes them and says, let me tell you what I'd like to do with your experiments. And uh, this is sort of selfish on my part, but I believe everyone likes their own ideas much better than anyone else's ideas. So if you come up with the idea, even if I've already thought of it, it's still your idea. I can never convince you that you didn't come up with the idea because you did. And so you're going to work harder. And I think it's a, it's a much better way to, to do it because as a postdoc, as opposed to a graduate student, graduate students are learning, in my mind, are learning how to do science. Postdocs are coming as colleagues. And that's what I think people want. But all too few people actually apply as if they're colleagues. 